The Galatech RDA straight out the box impressions now. Let's dive in and break it down. So as you can see here, the top cap is shaped like a dome. Supposedly increases flavor, we'll see. It looks like it should. And uh, you see this top cap here? Now these look like air inlets, but they're not. Pull this off, it comes off like that. This doesn't really serve a purpose per se for coming off. It's just, you know, held on there by the O-ring at the top there. It sort of just snaps in and then is held down by that O-ring. Uh, but supposedly, I guess similar to a sleeve like on a a cup that keeps things hot or cold. Uh, this is sort of going to do that, supposedly. I guess so also if they didn't put this on there, it would look like a titty. <laughs> you know, kind of kind of looks like a titty a little bit. I don't know. I'm a guy. I guess everything sort of looks like a titty if it's round like that. This so opening at the top is 810 compatible. I got to tell you, the ones that don't have the uh, the O-ring inside, I don't like them. When I try to use certain drip tips like. Here's one that I've used before. This is loose and slides. Here's another one from Gator Board that I use, and this one is too big. It doesn't actually fit. Here's another one from Gator Board, and that one actually does fit. Different one. This one doesn't fit, so it seems like some of my drip tips fit and some of my drip tip tips do not fit. Let's see if the Skill RDA one fits. Here's another one from the Skill RDA. Yeah, when you don't have that O-ring in there, the clearances are so tight that I just think that that's going to be difficult for a lot. Now, some do, some don't. Uh, but you might be stuck if you don't have drip tips that fit using their proprietary one so far If I learn more, I'll show you guys in the follow-up if it's needed. All right So they say that this is 24 millimeters in diameter, but I got to tell you it looks a little bit more than that See that little tiny bit of lip right there. This is 24 millimeters And this has a little bit of overhang just a tiny tiny bit. So it's like 24.3 or something like that Yeah, it looks to be about 24.5 millimeters so a little bit, you can see 24.53. So yeah, a little bit more than 24 millimeters. So let's throw a build on here, shall we? So for this one, we're gonna be using some of their coils. And you also wanna estimate where this is gonna lay. What I would do is I would sort of measure like this, and this is like where you want it to be, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about half of this off. And then I'm going to place this in here. Now, one thing that I do notice right away is that notice that the post screws go from a side entry. And notice how most of your flat wire builds are going to be sort of laying flat this way. But when you squeeze it with the post screw, it's going in this way. So it's going to crimp or pinch your leg. Not necessarily a huge deal, but it's definitely going to twist things up a little bit. So that should be perfect. Lay it over top, hold. All right, so once we get everything wicked up, I'm just going to comb these out a little bit. I always like to check the tension on my wicks to make sure that they're actually falling straight down and they're not packed in. You don't want to have tight packed wicks. If it's too tight, thin it out some more. Especially when you have tight spaces like this on the side here. There's a little bit of area right here to work with. So when all said and done, this is what it should look like.
I'm going to be using some Daily Dose Morning. I don't know if you ever had that before, but if you like strawberry cream or strawberry cream pie, holy shit, this is good. Then we're just going to center our airflow over here. Make sure this spins freely and also before you really fire, check your resistance and make sure that everything looks okay. You can see here and then if you fire a little bit, see that's fine. All right. All right, so let's zoom back out and let's take this for a vape. There you go, the Galatech RDA from us Modus. Kind of looks low profile, not as low as it looks. It's actually pretty high like the Goon RDA in terms of its height. Love it or hate it, the the look. You know, this little cutouts that are sort of around it. I think it looks kind of neat. The look has grown on me. Uh, initially, I was kind of like, well, what's this? I thought they were sort of like reverse top airflow or something like that. They really don't serve a purpose, um, but they do serve a purpose for heat dissipation, I guess you could call it. Uh, as far as vaping is concerned, you know, bottom airflow, you always have that risk if you over drip and you tilt it. You can get a little bit of juice coming out. I haven't had that much of a problem. Juice well is pretty deep, so I haven't had real, a lot of leaking issues or anything like that. But let me get to the main star of the show for this thing. This thing has flavor for days. Let me take a pull. Really smooth, direct, mouth-filling clouds. Flavorful clouds. That's what I'm talking about pull is just great. I mean, when I have it on the uh, the black version, airflow wide open at 90 watts, 0.19 ohms. I'm so familiar with this flavor, and it's given me such an incredible amount of direct flavor to my mouthpiece. It's ridiculous, okay? This thing has great flavor. Adjusting the airflow, sliding it to the side real easy. gets a little bit tighter but it's still kind of open and when you tighten it up it kind of gets a little bit more noisy in my opinion the best position for the airflow on this thing is wide open if I shut this one yeah it just gets noisy I think the airflow is better wide open and that's the way I vape so if you're under a restricted type of vape this is not going to be for you. This is a flavorful, cloudy type of vape. Uh, heat. I haven't noticed a lot of heat. I do notice the air conditioner turning on behind me, which sucks. So I apologize for that. But as far as heat goes, no heat. 24.5 uh, millimeter diameter is going to cause a little bit of overhang on some things. Uh, you guys saw that in the up close. But other than that, I mean, this thing's a flavor monster. It's easy to build on. Great flavor. Like great, great flavor. And, uh, you know, looks that they're different. That's all I can say. Drip tips, some fit, some don't. Okay, I don't know what the deal is with that. I think it's the fact that there's no O-ring inside the opening for the 810. I can definitely recommend it if you're into flavor, if you're into clouds, if you're into airflow. This is definitely unique. I uh, love the fact that the positive post is a little bit raised up for easy squonking. If you're a single coil vapor, not for you. It's a dual coil, big airflow, flavor, monster. And that's it. So, yeah, run out. Links below if you're interested in picking up the Esmodus Galatech Flavor Extraordinaire. Straight out the box is done. I'll see you soon.